what are the odds that I see you like three times in the mall that's pretty empty? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Candyly Carly, and in today's video I will be filming a mini story time video about something that recently happened to me. And I posted about this on Instagram, you guys were like, oh my gosh, what happened? You okay? story time and I'm like yes story time I know it's kind of late but you know I'm gonna film it for you guys now it's just like a small story and I'm also gonna give you guys some tips on how to avoid this and get past stuff like this because you know people are crazy nowadays but let's just get right into the story I recently got my license and when you have your license you start driving like you're so excited to go places and after I got my license I got my first car so like I'd be out like <laughs> like I'm not at home all the time so like it's like 10 in the morning and I decided to go to the mall the mall opens at 10 and I decided to go and um you know just going to I don't even know just to leave the house like when you get your license in your car like you are out like you know what I mean like if this happened to you already but um I get there to the mall and I park you know kind of like not close to the mall door or anything but not too far but like far so the mall entrance is like right here and I park like right here so it's like it was kind of far but not too far but that's just what I've been doing because like I don't want to hit anybody's car because you know I'm new and I don't want anybody to hit my car so then I walk into the mall you know having a nice jolly day I just have on like some leggings I have this on that's why I wore it today. I have this on, some pink leggings, um, some flip-flops, you know, nothing special. I didn't even do my makeup. Like, you know, just plain Jane. And I walk in, I go to, like, the Kate Spade outlet because that's, that's my store. <laughs> and I go to Vera Bradley, stuff like that. Then I need to go to Forever 21 to find my mom a belt that she can wear with this dress that she bought because she was going to a wedding. So I did that, and then... While I'm doing this, so that's like three stores, I noticed that I see this guy. He's a black guy. He has dreads. Um, he's kind of skinny, kind of taller, and he has a little girl with him. And I see this guy like three times. And like, that's... If you guys saw somebody three times, like, you probably think, oh, they're just walking around the mall. But, like I said, I went to the mall early because I, I just leave the house nowadays. I went to the mall at like 10 a.m. And because it's like 10 a.m., it's not, it's not a lot of people walking the mall. So it's like only a few of us here. So what are the odds that I see you like three times in the mall that's pretty empty? So I, <laughs> I just think he's like, I don't know, following me or something or because it's like no coincidence like the stores that I go to they aren't even related I uh, th he wouldn't be going in those stores I went to like Vera Bradley Kate Spade why would anybody want to go in there I mean why would a guy want to go in there um I went to Forever 21 why would he be over there um I don't know it was just weird and then after that I decided to go to the Victoria's Secret outlet because, you know, I like Victoria's Secret. And I found some really good deals. Like, let's take a break from the story. Hold on. I found some really good deals in the outlet. Like, I got this hoodie, and it was only, like, $9. And I got some leggings because of their leggings for only, like, $20. So, there was some good deals in there. So, then I'm leaving. Like, I'm, I'm happy. Like, I got some good deals. I'm holding my bag. I am just, you know, strutting my stuff down the mall. I'm like, yes. I'm gonna go home and I got some new stuff to wear. I'm so excited. So then I like take my phone out and I text my mom. I'm telling her like, hey, I'm gonna be on my way home soon. Cause that's what I do. So like I do it because I don't want people to not know where I am. So I don't want something to happen to me in there. But it's like, oh, where was Carly last time? Like where was the last place Carly was? Because like that wouldn't help anybody if they didn't know where I was and I suddenly disappeared. That's just how I do things. So um, I texted her. I said, I am um, coming home. So then she called me. I'm on the phone with her, and I'm walking. So while I'm on the phone with her and I'm walking, like, to the entrance that I came in so I can get to my car, I wasn't really paying attention to who was, like, around me, which was stupid. I was just on the phone. Then I got off the phone, 
when I got outside to the parking lot. So then when I get to my car, I like unlock it, press my button on my keychain, and then I like look around, make sure nobody's there. And then who do I see? I see the guy with the little girl. And the little girl's cute and all, but like he's creepy and like he's literally standing in the middle of the road so i'm here in my car and he's in the middle of the road like looking at me and i'm just like um hmm, i don't really think this is like this is certainly not a coincidence now like he, he's certainly trying to get you carly but then like i'm opening the door and he's just standing there like on the phone and after a while i realized he probably wasn't on the phone so i was putting my stuff in my car and then y'all guess what i see a spider and i don't like bugs so i had to hurry up and kill this spider like so i'm standing here for a long time trying to kill the spider and i look back i've been killing the spider for about two minutes and he's still standing in the exact same place on the phone and holding the little girl's hand and the little girl looked like she was about two years old she was cute but so the point. And there were other people in the parking lot, so I wasn't like, you know, like scared at this point because like I, like there were people walking past us, so I was cool. So then I walk over to my door, get in the driver's seat, and I close the door. And I'm fiddling with whatever that I'm doing, and then I look up out of my window, and here is the guy standing directly at my door, and it was the creepiest thing ever in the world and he's like just looking at me like hello and then he's like at the same time pretending to be on the phone like what are you doing so I locked the door of course and then it's like Jalen called me and he was busy doing something so I was like why is he even calling me so I answered the phone and when I answered the phone I could tell the guy was kind of like oh now she's on the phone maybe I should leave but he didn't even just stood there and then the phone like hung up I think he like accidentally called me so I was just like okay and I look over and he's still like staring at me. And so here's my car right here. And like here's my like driver's door. He's like here's my door. And then him and the little girl are like right here. Like super close. If I open the door I'm going to hit her in the face. I'm going to hit him in the balls. So it's like that's how close he was. And I could tell he just he wanted me to like open the door. Or like roll down the window and say like what's up or say like can you move this little girl so I won't hit her on my way out of the parking lot but no no thank you um I watch too many shows and I'm not about to get taken today thank you sir goodbye so I start my car and I put it in reverse I made sure I wasn't gonna run over the little girl's like feet because she's cute she has nothing to do with this creepy guy like it's not her fault so I tried not to run over her and then I didn't care about running over his feet honestly I zoomed off and I left because that was just creepy and yeah as I was driving off I like looked back to see if he was like still standing there or like watching my car go away because that's creepy I don't want him to look at my license plate or anything but when I look back he's like slowly walking away from my parking spot and like it seems like he's like about to go creep on other cars and it was just the creepiest like you know how you just feel uneasy about something like I feel like if I would have opened that door or rolled down my window he was going to snatch me or punch me in the face and move me over to the passenger seat and get in my car and steal me and my car and put the little girl in the back seat honestly that's what I feel like was about to happen but that wasn't gonna happen to me because I'm not an idiot but I'm going to tell you guys some tips <laughs> and stuff on how I try to stay safe. Obviously, I wasn't safe enough in this situation. But, you know, if you are out alone, here are some tips. So tip number one, stay woke. Like, seriously, like, not a joke. You need to stay, like, really paying attention to stuff. Like, like that guy, like, I saw him following me. Like, I saw him, like, three times. Like, you need to pay attention to stuff like that. Like, you need to pay attention to how many times you see somebody, how many times you see the same car if you're driving, um, how long somebody in their car is, like, behind your car, like, how long a car is following you. Um, like, stay conscious of those things. So, say you are, you're in Target. I love Target, you're in Target, and you're at like the women's clothing section. You see a guy over there. Then you go to the phone cases, you see the same guy over there. You go to the makeup aisle, you see the same guy over there. I would say it's safe to say that somebody is now following you. And what do you do after that? 
you should probably, you know, try and stay away from that person or like call somebody because I feel like when you're on the phone, people get intimidated. But um, yeah, just try to stay away from them. Um, people are creepy. Some people are harmlessly creepy, but you will never know <laughs> until they get a chance to take you or be harmlessly creepy. So just stay away from them <laughs> when you notice them being creepy. Um, let's see, I now have a pepper spray because like that same day that guy was creeping on me, Jalen took me to go get this. So it's a pink one of course because I like pink and then it's got like this quick release button on it. So say somebody is trying to get me, oh my gosh she's trying to get me and look how heavy like my keys are. So like this and this at the same time, this is going to slow me down. So it'll hurry up and it'll release if you need it to. And then it has like this safety thing so you won't accidentally open it like while you're at home or something. So you, all you need to do is like turn it like this and then spray. So I keep this and I just hold on to it when I'm like walking to my car or something like that. Um, tip number, wait, well, I guess that was tip number two. Tip number three is, you know, always like park like closer to a building. Like I parked too far in the situation with that mall guy. I wish I had parked closer. Um, and if it's dark, make sure you park where, like, it's a lit area because you don't want to be in the dark and, you know, people are creepy in the dark and they could be waiting at your car for you. So, yeah, me personally, since I'm a new driver and stuff, and since I'm just, like, cautious, I don't want to go anywhere at night because, you know, the creepers come on at night and I don't really have time to be taken and stuff like that. So, yeah. And every time I get in my car... I always, 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 always. And my mom used to think I was crazy about this, but now she knows it was a good idea. I always, as soon as I get in the car, I lock the door. Because you never know, somebody could be close to you and didn't notice and they're gonna try to hurry up and open the door and get you because you didn't have time to lock the door. I lock the door right away. And most cars, when you start the car, the door's locked. But I have to lock it before I start the car because, you know, safety reasons. Um, let's see. What else? When I get in the car, <laughs> this is getting sound weird. When I get in the car, I always look in my back seat to make sure nothing's there or no one's there. Because, you know, you watch movies and you're driving, the person's driving, and all of a sudden somebody comes out the back seat and just puts their hand over their mouth. Like, no, no thank you. You need to just... Be super cautious about everything when you're out here alone, like, guy or girl, be super cautious. Because people are absolutely insane, and I, I, you can never be too safe. So, if you think these little tips and tricks that I do are crazy, I don't think so. It can prevent so many things. Um, and also, if you are going somewhere alone and you have somebody that would go with you, maybe ask if that person would go with you like to the store or something like that because like try not to go to places alone like if you don't have to like I don't know. It's just always nice to have somebody else with you. And what else do I have to say? Um if you can try to take like self defense classes. I think I want to take one in college while I'm still here. Just try to, you know, so you can be safe and all that. And also, if ever, anything were ever to happen to you, I'm gonna show you guys what I have here. If anything were ever to happen to you, on my little key fob thing, I have a panic button. So I always plan to press this panic button if somebody is like nearby or close to me. So press your panic button, your car is gonna flip out. And you guys know how cars sound, like when that alarm's going off, and then that's gonna get people's attention. So if somebody's trying to attack me and my little pepper spray didn't work, <laughs> I'm going to you know, press this and then that's gonna bring attention to my car and the person obviously trying to snatch me at my car. So just be super careful and do everything that you can because I don't want anybody to take any of us because people are crazy nowadays. And also, if something ever were to happen to you or somebody was being creepy, don't be afraid to fight. <laughs> like if somebody like slaps your butt or something like that or gets too close to you or, you know, like fight because you just really invaded my personal space and you're making me feel uncomfortable. You can always just try to fight the person off or spray them with pepper spray because 
odds are if they're being creepy, they were intentionally trying to be creepy. And if they want to complain about you spraying them <laughs> with pepper spray and they call the police on you or something, you can, you know, counter that because they were the one being creepy first. And, you know, you're just defending yourself. So stay woke. Take care of yourselves. Um, I hope you guys learned from my story <laughs> and my tips. I just want you guys to be safe, and I'm really trying to be safe now that I'm a new driver. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.